The Daily War of Angels in Space, Brother Eduardo Vision. Hello beloved, people may think that I am crazy but I see things, I hear voices of the light of heaven, I hear angelic and heavenly voices, I hear the voice of God, they think that I am crazy but we are crazy for the kingdom and we are here to search souls and to search salvation of men in the land of the living. The Apostle Paul spoke to the church to warn them about war in the air, and the church in the end time is involved in a spiritual war, beloved. The church in this time is involved in spiritual struggle for we no longer have to war against the neighbor nor against friend, today the struggle of Christians is against Satan who is reprimanded in the name of Jesus, remember that the Apostle Paul comes from a church where he used to fight and kill brothers in the flesh. But when he met Christ the Apostle Paul revealed a spiritual war that is raging in the air, this war is also happening on the earth and the sea, a battle that is raging all over the universe for 24 hours non-stop, months ago I was lying down, I have just prayed to the Lord to touch me, after praying for some time, immediately I heard the Lord saying, Eduardo, get up, I want to take you to a place, suddenly my beloved brother in a blink of an eye I was in glory, at the same time the Lord extended his hand to me, I got up from the bed, I heard the Holy Spirit telling me, Eduardo, get ready because we're going to fly, I was astonished when he said that, I wonder why is he telling me to get ready for we're going to fly? In my mind I thought maybe it was the day of the trumpet for the rapture of the church, I thought the last trumpet of God had sounded, when suddenly my beloved brother we started flying and we went up, we traveled to the first heaven then the second, finally the third heaven, when we began this journey I asked the Lord where are you taking me, he says I want you to see something, immediately we started flying my beloved brother in incredible speed, I was watching the stars and the sky, I was observing everything in the universe for I saw thousands and thousands of stars, we were flying in space and I saw that we were crossing the clouds and we enter the second heaven, where I saw thousands and thousands of shadows that moved around and there was a lot of movement there, but when we reached the third heaven everything was peaceful and there was tranquility, when we got to the third heaven, I saw that my feet did not touch the ground as we were suspended in the air, the Spirit of God said, I want to take you to a place, precisely to the heavenly camp of the host of the army of heaven, where there are war chariots of the army of God, we are going to the location of the command base and headquarters of the war angels of God armies, I'm going to take you to that heavenly field to visit the army of the kingdom of heaven where they are soldiers and warriors and you will see, when suddenly my beloved brother we started moving in the paradise of God, and in the distance I was able to see a very beautiful hill of paradise, and when I looked I saw hundreds of heavenly mansions and houses like a camping, they were different from terrestrial construction, all the cottages were ordered neatly, when we arrive and I stood in a very beautiful pasture very green, as I stood in this beautiful pasture, suddenly I saw a powerful bright angel that had no wings showing up before me, in fact I saw two types angels in heavens, and the Holy Spirit tells me, these are archangels and angels, then he tells me you have to observe, this angel that had no wings say, Eduardo, I'll show you what you have to know. Actually this angel had a white garment, but what caught my attention is that on his chest he had a breastplate that said holiness of God. He had a very beautiful sword with diamond inlays, this archangel had a shifa forged in gold, when he arrived he raised the shifa in sign of respect for the Holy Spirit of God, straight away the angel took me to a place in paradise that was the headquarter of the host of the army of heaven. Suddenly I started to observe that these hosts of heaven were dressed in white garment, every one of them was dressed in golden armor which was awesome, they seems prepared for battle, however, I came to understand that when these warriors angels were not deployed in war they spent time in praise, worship and dancing to God, for I saw them singing for God, they sang for the Lamb of God who is their victory for centuries after centuries, I watch as they went around and dance, they danced with their peers in their hands, I observed an angel, instead of taking his sword he took his tambourine, at that moment they all took their musical instruments they began to sing like a heavenly choir very beautiful, they were giving glory to the Lamb of God, they did not stop singing and they did not cease to give glory to the Lamb of God, when suddenly I saw one of these archangels who had wings, 
he was standing beside the Spirit of God, he tells me you are going to see something, Eduardo, get ready because I'm going to take you to a level of glory that your eyes have not seen, straight away the archangel that was holding the shafar began to sound it, as the archangel sounded the shafar immediately the war angels that were praising God took their swords, I saw all the angels of battle began to line up in battle formation, they form alignment for battle, the spirit of God tell me, Eduardo, get ready because you're going to witness war in the air. Suddenly the angelic troops that were line up in formation disappear and I saw them no more. These regiment of warrior angels were deployed, I heard them no more though there was a strong wind, at that moment we started moving in incredible speed, in fact we descended to the second heaven, where there was a deadly war of angels and demons, my beloved brother angels were fighting continuously and I came to understand that they fought for us, they made use of their swords. You have to know that the war of angels is connected to the prayer of the saint on the earth, and they want us to pray, the more we pray the stronger they get and the easier for them to win the war, in these critical times of the end we must spend time in prayer and we must always pray without ceasing, in the war against the legion of space I saw the archangels holding chains in order to bind the demons, angels of battle made use of their sword unsheathed. They were roar of battle and screaming and demons fell into hole, I wanted to know the reason of this battle and why this fuss, the spirit of God tells me to keep watching, I watched the angels who fought and fought, when suddenly there was an opening in sky and a glorious glow of light came down from the third heaven illuminating the dark space, the spirit of God tell me, Eduardo, the angels are fighting this battle because something big, a miracle is coming for someone in the land. The Spirit of God say, Eduardo, every time there is going to be a miracle, every time you are going to save someone, every time a believer is to get an answer to his prayer, the war angels have to fight, the scene of war in the firmament that you are witnessing happen every day and day after day, from time to time, and for someone to be touched, for someone to be released and for someone to be saved and for a believer to get answer to this prayer. There is a battle and a war in the firmament between the war angels and the legion of air, many people in the church do not realize this for they do not see it, God people pray and receive answers but they do no see he battle in space by the war angels against the legions of air that happen so they can receive the miracle, in fact there is a battle going on for every soul on the earth and every man in the spirit world, in this war in the air prayer cause the angels of war to have upper hand in this battle. The more you pray the more victorious the angels will be in this battle, when you slacken in prayer angels of war will not have the upper hand, the spirit of God tells me, come I'll take you to see what has caused this war, I will show why this war erupted in the firmament, suddenly we began to move in great speed and we travel down from the second heaven and we enter the first heaven, I saw the cloud of the earth, then I saw in the land a pastor in his house on his knees in prayer. I saw this man of God in prayer and I heard him saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, all the principalities, all the governors and powers of the region, the strong man and his allies and all spirit adverse, you are bound and discarded in the name of Jesus Christ, I demolish the entire fortress of the enemy and all obstacle, my brothers, this is the prayer of authority and words from the man of God that has caused the war that broke out in space causing big mess in the second heaven, the spirit of the Lord tell me, this prayer is the cataclysm that has caused the battle you saw, every time you spend time in prayer, angels of war will be assembled and deployed against legions of air, and the more you pray the stronger the angels get, the spirit of God tells me, I want you to see what's coming down when you pray, my beloved brother. I saw the glory of the Lamb coming down, it was actually a fresh anointing in the form of oil that left heaven, falling to the head of the man of God that was praying, the Spirit of God told me, every time someone fights spiritual battle and spend time in prayer I give him anointing from heaven to be strong, because he release anointing and he need to be recharged so that he will not weaken, and that charge is the anointing of oil coming from the third heaven. Every time someone fights this battle I give him something new to hunt and a new anointing, the Lord said, Mr. Eduardo, you must take the armor and do not abandon it, take your shield and take your sword, wear your shoes on the feet, take the breastplates, the Lord say, Eduardo take your helmet and never release it, 
do not be like most believers today they take the shield tomorrow they abandon it, they take the sword today and tomorrow they take off their shoes, the armor of God has to be complete, if you do not have the armor of God you are not going to be able to fight, when the church pray in spiritual battle there is war in heaven, for when the church fight the war angels also fight, whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever loose on earth is loosed in heaven, that's why it's important to hear from God in this war, the Spirit of God tell me not to let the enemy within my home, for many of God children have allowed the enemy to enter their homes, there are many who let the devil takes over their houses, the husband in the house must fight in prayer to prevent the enemy from entering his home, you are not the tail for God put you as the head, when the devil enter a home he crush the economy and the finance of the family there will be hunger, you are going to have shortages, you are going to diminish and your family will be lost, because the devil first begins by taking away the economy and closing the doors, then the woman would get up against the man and telling him there's no money and nothing to eat go to work, the spirit of God led me to see this scenario, and the demon laughed in the room of this family, there was a devil that was let him the house through open door and legality, he was given an entry, and he destroyed the finance of the family, and he caused the woman to rise against the man, the male of this home lost his authority because of unemployment, he was frustrated and he did not want to come to worship God in church anymore, beloved, the cares of this world may take you to hell, when you let the devil in your house he is going to steal from your family, the devil has risen in the end time to destroy family, the devil has risen against family which is God institution. While he attack the desperate husband there will be rupture between man and the woman, in bed they slept angry, the man turn on one side and the woman to the other side, and I saw the devil sleeping in the middle of their bed and he was laughing for he has laid with them, the following day the woman stood and he was shouting at the man desperately, the man was trying to defend but how are you going to do it in the flesh, if you do not raise your hand and if you do not kneel to pray and get into the spiritual world. After that experience, the Holy Spirit of God again came to me and he tells me, Eduardo, I'm going to take you to hell, on that day I had just prayed like I have not before, my sister was sleeping, I barely touched my bed when I heard the Lord say, get up and let's go, I started moving with the Lord, and he took me to a hill where there was a cave, and in that cave he told me, this is one of the entries one of the door of hell, come, let's go and enter. We began to enter the cave and it got darker, when we were moving the Lord says, do not have fear, suddenly we got to hell and there was a huge gate that said welcome to hell the place of torment, and there were two huge gates like this very large, but when the Lord got the door opened automatically, for he can go in and out, he has the keys of hell and he has the authority over death in his hands, when we entered the Lord said, I'm going to take you to this place to reveal something different. Immediately we started to get through the caves, in fact they were caves inside caves, I saw many caves and it was dark, suddenly my beloved brother we came to a door that opens automatically, the first thing my eyes saw there in the heart of hell was a table, a very large stone table, in front of the stone table was a throne of stone, but I notice a black cloud that cover it, the Lord tells me, Eduardo, extend your hand towards the throne and when I extended my hand towards the throne I was able to see an inscription on that throne as I saw a glow of light coming out of the center of my hands, from this place I saw coming out something like a hollow, in fact I saw the devil sitting on his throne in hell, I was surprised my beloved brother because from my hand in the center a light resplendent was illuminating the throne of Satan in hell, the Lord rebuked him as he was sitting on his throne with a staff in his hand. The devil started screaming at me and said, Damn dog, Lord Jesus Christ came with a staff and he placed it in front of him and he said, Do not touch him, the devil said to the Lord, Give me permission to touch him for a minute, I'm going to tear her to pieces, I will tear this dogs apart, he has caused a lot of damage, he is going to churches telling them to read the Bible, to spend time in prayer and to look for God face and when these churches pray the kingdom of hell trembles and shake, there is no needs to be a large church to make hell tremble, just a small church spending time in front of the king of kings can cause the kingdom of hell to tremble, Goliath was not the problem for David knew he could defeat him, 
because his problem was already solved in the name of Jehovah, David had that revelation of the spiritual world, the devil asked the Lord the permission to touch me but the Lord refused, immediately I saw the devil surrounding me and he tells me, I'm going to tear you apart I'm going to kill you for you are a dog, damn prophet, I'm going to make war against you and I'm going to kill you, the devil kept saying to the Lord please let me touch him, he is not perfect he has mistakes and flaw, yet you take care of him and you love him, and the Lord said to Satan, keep quiet, if I take care of him it's because of my love and my mercy, finally my beloved brother I saw Satan summoning his governors, his principalities and powers, the devil began to call his hosts, the Lord tells me, I want you to observe what is going to happen here, we stood on one side, and I saw Satan enraged full of anger, he gathered and told his governors, go out and the make war against these churches that fast and pray, churches that do not obey God must be ignored because they belong to us already, this war is against churches that are trying to obey Christ, go now go, immediately I saw governors, principality and power in motion for they started to go out, the principalities began to come out and the powers began to come out as well, and then I saw the host of Satan appearing before the devil and to get precision about their mission, one of them a powerful demon came to Satan and said, Lord, what is my commission, the devil said, become descent and get in the church and start dividing them, put them one against the other, then another demon appeared before the devil, who told him, put on a miniskirt and try to seduce these shepherds, and the other demon showed up, the devil said this is your assignment become rebellious and begin to get in church. He asked the devil which churched, Satan say the churches that fast and pray they are the one who are causing us hedash, those that are looking for the presence of their God, go and destroy their fences, go in war against them, suddenly my beloved brother they started to get out and the devil started to laugh and said, you see this, I raise a stone wall before my throne and you are sixth on the list of names of many pastors who are making war against my kingdom, and in the other stone I have written the name of shepherds that are already going to hell, they already fell from grace for they started in the spirit and they ended up in the flesh walking in debauchery, their churches are mine because they are my trophies, when a Christian live a life prayer, when a Christian is always fasting, when a Christian always read the Bible he is regarded as a trophy in hell and every demon would seek to win his soul, that's why you have to be vigilant, if you started in the spirit and you're in the flesh the enemy is taking your soul to hell, you live in sin and you think you are going to even, brothers do not believe that, the devil tell me, I'm going to make war against you, I'm going to tear you apart I'm going to destroy if you neglect for a second your daily devotion of prayer if you neglect for a minute your daily obligation of Bible reading I will enter and I'm going to kill your wife, you neglect for a second your walk with God I will kill your children I'll tear them to pieces and I will torture them seven times more cruelly than you think, I'm going to torture you seven times more, this is for you if you neglect your devotion, then the Lord said son, get up be on the alert and warn my church, alerts my people so that they may rise up because the enemy does not want them to come my kingdom, tell my people to prepare in fasting and in prayer, they must wage this war, do not let yourself be seduced, I saw power and governor of hell that came out before the throne of Satan one after the other asking about churches to be targeted, they said what about those churches that are going like a bucket of cold water, what about those churches where they praise their God and they paint themselves with makeup, where women put pants, the devil said, I have them in my hand and they are already mine, there is nothing more to do against them, I do not care about them, I am worried about churches that fast and pray, those who live in holiness, these are churches that worry me, go and corrupt them, I'm going to say something to women, for I like to preach the truth, with all due respect, I'm going to tell you with all the love in the world that I do not come to change you, Christ loves you he is the one who can change you, when you paint yourself you tell your God he made you imperfect, I should not be like this and this is how I need to look like, I saw in the spirit world how the devil comes and tells women in their ears that they are very ugly, I saw it in the spirit, I saw and heard a demon laughing at my wife, I was praying for four years for my wife to remove those skirts and makeup, I had four years of battling with vanity spirit, 
At some point my wife told me if you keep preaching that message I'm going to continue painting my face, I said to her I will keep preaching that message, neither you nor anyone nor the devil is going to change this message, suddenly in a dream after four years of battle and prayer, the Holy Spirit came and said, come I want you to observe something, in this vision I believe that what I saw was an unclean spirit that said to my wife, you are very ugly, you need makeup. I challenged the unclean spirit and I made threat and I rebuke him, I said my wife is beautiful to me, in that same night God manifests himself in a dream and told my wife how a Christian lady should dress, on that day when my wife woke up she was crying and she tells me, I saw a long skirt, a decent blouse, Jesus told her if you want me to please me you are going to dress like this, she told Jesus I've never used these kind of clothes, the Lord told her again if you you want to please me you are going to dress like this, since that visitation my wife began to dress decently, people came and told me brother why do you let your wife dress like a Hungarian woman, they said brother your wife looks like a nun, she dressed old fashioned, the audible voice of Christ told me to resist all pressure and the things of this world because there is great award, Christ has sent me in these times to tell the church to prepare because the devil does not want them to go to heaven. But Christ has raised me to tell you to fight this war in order to go to the kingdom of the heavens, you begins in the spirit and you must ends in the spirit because he says hallelujah.